boys and girls. Are you all ready for another story from your Uncle Boris? Good. Pull up your chairs nice and close to the television set. Careful there, Guy Michael, not on the pussycat's tail. That's better, dear. Now let's begin our story. It's called Little Red Riding Hood. No, 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 Sarah Jane. It is not about a red-headed hood who is taken for a ride. Shame on you for even thinking of such a thing. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Once upon a time, on the edge of the forest, there lived a pretty little girl named... You guessed it. Little Red Riding Hood. Well, as you can see, she wasn't so very little. But she certainly was a looker. A pretty little girl. Oh dear, I said that, didn't I? Well, one day, as she was walking through the forest to her grandmother's house, whom did Little Red meet but the brave and handsome woodcutter? Stop! These are for my grandma, and you're not my grandma. Bye. Oh, it's only you, Big Bad Wolf. For a minute there, I thought it was Boris Karloff. Yes, I know. Everybody tells me that. But who's the pretty little girl? Oh, that's Little Red Riding Hood. She's taking some goodies to her grandma's house. But if you take the shortcut, you can beat her there, eat up grandma, Shh. and... You'll give away the whole plot. Scary, isn't it? If you kids want to know what happens next, eat your spinach and watch carefully. There's a wonderful place that you really should see called the land of Hatchie. Ah, she was a tough old bird. Grandma must know of a better place to shop for chicken. But ha, someone comes. Peppermint. <laughs> oh, it's a little red. Oh, here's where I go into my nightgown bit. Soda pop fountains are under each tree in the land of Hatchy Malachi. Just a minute, dear. Hi, Granny. How are you feeling today? Say, so you don't look too good. For a minute, I thought you were... I know. But I have bigger eyes than he has, dear. That's true. What big eyes you have, Grandma. All the better to see you with, my dear. And what big hands you have, Grandma. All the better to grab you with, my dear. And what big feet you have, Grandma. All the better to chase you with, my dear. Uh, you're not my grandma. Oh, that's what you tell all the fellows. No, just you and the brave and handsome woodcutter. I think I'll try charming her. You know, I'm really not such a bad sort once you get to know me. I'm not so good in a crowd, but when I get you alone, you'd be surprised. He isn't much at a dance, but then when he takes you home, you'd be surprised. He doesn't look like much of a lover, but don't judge a book by its cover. He has the face of an angel, but there's a devil in his eyes. He's such a delicate thing. But when I start in to squeeze, you'd be surprised. He doesn't look very strong, but when you sit on his knees, you'd, you'd be, be surprised. surprised. At a party or at a ball, I've got to admit I'm nothing at all. But in a moment, Morris Chair, you'd, you'd be, be surprised. He 
She's not so good in a house, but on a bench in the park, you'd be surprised. I'm not so much in the light, but when I get in the dark, you'd be surprised. On a streetcar or in a train, you'd think I was born without any brain. But in a taxi cab, you'd, you'd be, be surprised. surprised. I've got you, but what do I do now? Gee, I don't know. The woodcutter and his friends were supposed to burst in here and rescue me. Maybe you better improvise something while I go see what's keeping him. Mm. Well, now, this might be a good place for me to go into a little dance, but no, even from me, that would be too frightening. <laughs> 